Welcome to SS Gaming Unity 3D channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to implement Google Login using Unity 6. In the previous video, I showed you how Google Login works, but there were some issues with Unity 6. I've solved those in this video. In this video, I'll show you the complete setup of Google Login with Firebase, fully compatible with Unity 6. Make sure to watch the full video and follow every step carefully. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to SS Gaming Unity 3D for more Unity tutorials. Now, let's jump into Unity and set up Google Login step by step. I'll start by creating a new Unity 6 project and configuring it for Android. Just follow along step by step. Now, set the package name we'll use this in the Firebase project setup. Okay now I'll download the Google sign in SDK from the official GitHub releases page. You can also download the Firebase SDK from the official Firebase website. Okay, now I'm adding a new Firebase app. This is my old Google sign-in project. If you're not sure how to set up a Firebase project, check out my previous video on Google sign-in. Okay. Now copy the package name from Unity and add it to your Firebase app setup. Adding the SHA fingerprint to your Firebase app is essential for authentication to work properly. After that, open the Authentication tab in Firebase and enable the Google sign-in provider. Next. I'll create a key store to generate the SHA fingerprint, which we will then add to our Firebase app for authentication. Next, copy both the SHA1 and SHA256 fingerprints and add them to your Firebase app configuration. Once both keys are added, download the google-services.json file. This file is required for our Unity project setup. Okay, all these steps are complete. Now, go to your Unity project and import the Firebase auth SDK.
Now the Firebase SDK setup is complete. Next, move on and import the Google Sign-In SDK into your Unity project. Make sure to uncheck the Parse and Play Service Reservoir folders during import to prevent any conflicts with Firebase Resolver. Now that both SDKs are imported, I'm adding this Google Sign-In script. It's the old script. I shared in my previous Google Sign-In video, but I've modified it for Unity 6. I'll provide the script link in the description. Use this script for Google Sign-In in your Unity 6 project. Okay, now create an empty game object and attach the script to it. After that, we need to create some basic UI for login and displaying user data. You can design this UI according to your requirements. Also, add the google-services.json file to your Unity project. Make sure to drag it directly into the Assets folder. Unity will automatically create a streaming assets folder to ensure this happens correctly. Next, I'll create a simple basic UI for the login and user data display. Now, open the script and enter your web client ID, which you can copy from Firebase, and paste it into the script.
Make sure to set the path to the Google Sign-In Settings template file inside your Plugin folder in the script. Keep in mind, this won't work in the Unity Editor Google Sign-In only functions on actual Android devices. So be sure to build your project and test it on a real device. The build was created successfully. Now, send it to your mobile device, and we'll check if it's working properly using LogCat, and also verify it in the Firebase project. Now, I'm deleting my old account from Firebase. After that, I'll show you the login process in LogCat and also verify the new account login in the Firebase project. After deleting the account from Firebase, switch to Unity and open LogCat to monitor the login process.
As you can see, the user data is loading successfully after login. Let's also check the Firebase project to confirm the user is logged in. Now you can see that the login is working, and my account is showing in the Firebase console. So, we've successfully integrated Firebase Google Sign-in into our Unity 6 project. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with other developers. Subscribe to SS Gaming Unity 3D for more Unity tutorials and game development content. If you have any questions or face any issues, feel free to drop a comment below, I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.